Alright, good afternoon everybody. This is Chuck, aka Malik, and I'm gonna show you something a little bit different today. This is a program that I use uh, uh, right often on uh, on my regular machines, uh, but I've installed it inside of a, a virtual, uh, and it's called Email Tracker Pro. Uh, and bring it up, and this is what it looks like. Now, on my inside of my virtual, I'm just running the, the trial version. You'll have a 15-day trial version before you have to buy it. Uh, it's fully functional, um, but the program itself is for one license. It's only uh, $29.95, so it's a, it's a great deal for uh, a really, really cool program. Now, some things that you can do to it. When you first install it, and you can just go to emailtrackerpro.com to download the newest version. Uh, when you first install it and open it up, of course you're not going to have any accounts set up. So now, and that's why I kind of did them inside of here because in my local version I have all of my accounts. But you'll just go to your email accounts and you'll add one or multiple. Now, we, the ones that are on here by default are Hotmail, Yahoo, Gmail, Inbox, and Mail. Uh, by, by picking those, they automatically have the mail server and the port uh, already set up inside of there. Um, you don't have to use any of those. If you just go to Custom, you just make them an account name, any name you want, like Outlook account. You put in your username, you put in your password, and then make sure you do the the correct mail server now you only need to worry about the pop server you do not need to worry about the SMTP server because email tracker pro does not send out emails uh, it only retrieves emails so you only need one half of it so you just need the pop email server now I will warn you there is an issue with Yahoo uh, while you may put in the right uh, username, the right password, it's set to the right port, with all the stuff that Yahoo has been going through now, it does not like third-party programs pulling down their stuff. Uh, and this is not the only program that you're ever going to have problems with when it comes to Yahoo. Outlook doesn't like to pull uh, Yahoo stuff either. There are some workarounds on it. Uh, it really just depends on how your email accounts are set up. But you don't have to do this. You don't have to set up an account if you don't want your emails populating. Now, I will warn you, like if you use something like, say, Outlook, and you have thousands of emails in your Outlook account, you can set it up, but it's going to start pulling all of your emails into here, and it can take hours to, to pull your emails because it's also going to do traces and all on them too. So we're not going to worry about that right now, about setting one up. What we're going to take a look at is, hey, what happens when you get one of those spam emails that you know is spam, but you just want some more information on it. Well, I have my Yahoo account here, which is actually just, I only use for garbage. Uh, I never use this for anything else unless I have to sign up in a site for something and they want an email account. I don't give them one that I ever use. I just give them this junk account. And I have one here that just says, can I trust you? And I did move it. It, it did go in my spam folder. I moved it in my, e uh, in my uh, inbox so I can actually view some stuff. But this kind of goes in, hey, it's Peter Douglas, United Nations Inspection Agent at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. They're conducting, uh, conducting an audition, consignment in U.S. airports being transferred there. Uh, consignment was abandoned because it was not declared. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the box will contain more than six million and the consignment is left in storage. The details, here we go, the official documents. Uh, I want to use my good office and clear the consignment and deliver it to you. Look at that. I get six million dollars just by getting an email. Um, all communication must be ex uh, confidential. I can get everything concluded within 24 to 48 hours upon your acceptance. 
Uh, but it must be on the condition that you will give me 30%. Crap, so I don't get 6 million, I get 6 million minus 30%. Um, and of course, please reply to my personal email, and there's his email account there. And he signed it, Inspection Officer. Well, you know this is garbage. Unfortunately, a lot of people do not know this is garbage, but we know this is garbage. And we can actually see up here at the top, I mean, look at the email account. It's to3 uh, at wattuis.club. Down at the bottom, he has a completely different email uh, account, dpdouglas55 at gmail.com. So, we want some more information on this. Well, it depends on the browser you're using, well, um, the uh, email client that you're using, whether it's Outlook or Yahoo or whatever. But really, I want to take a look at the raw data for this. Inside of Yahoo, you just go to, to More, and you say View Raw Message. What that's going to do is it's going to give me, give me the headers of this uh, email. Pretty much everything that's, that's normally hidden. And this is all of the stuff. Now, header files change in length depending on how many fours it has or how much spoofing it has. So really, it's everything from the very top down to where the email starts. So this is the end of it. So I'm going to kind of copy and drag all the way up to the top. And I am going to copy it. I'm going to switch over to Email Tracker Pro and tell it to trace the headers. It automatically pastes the header that you just copied inside of here. And then you just tell it to trace. Now, a trace is going on. doesn't really look like it but because you can't really see anything going on, but a trace is going on. Uh, so if I just click over to my trace reports you can see that something is running there we go it tells me the trace is complete the information is found way over here on the right hand side let me kind of expand this a little bit all right the first thing we can see all this stuff down here at the bottom these are all the hops that it took so of course very last hop here it's in Richmond hit Dulles before that, somewhere in Canada, the UK, the Netherlands, Austria, and start it somewhere in Meppel in, in the Netherlands. Information over here from the person to them. The original date it was sent, November 5th, 2016. There's the subject. There's the location that it knocked out. Misdirection. It was misdirected. Okay. There's the IP address it originally came from. The sender attempted to hide their IP. They claimed to be from 129.123.dataclub.biz, but that doesn't exist. That's the IP that it pulled from. Sometimes we can pull up some more information inside of here. Of course, it went through the, the RIPE database, since it came from the Netherlands. There's the country, the Netherlands, where you can go to, to mark it as abuse. And look, we have some people's names inside of here. Issues with Belize, too. Does actually know who is look up on that IP address. So we can nail it down to in the email summary of uh, the person itself. Now, of course, who they said it came from, uh, as well as the information of actually who it did come from and their IP address. Probably came from Martin. And you can view the report. And here it is. This is just a, a nice little report that's 
put inside of your, your default browser window. So there's the IP address. So I'm going to certainly locate it here since it has an exact match. It is a web server. So I can click here there for more details on the web server. It's taking a minute to pull up the information. Here's the contact info that the web server is running on. Actually ran in from uh, ran in Belize. Again, originated in the Netherlands. There is a misdirection, of course. So there was an IP spoof going on. The sender's email. It says this, of course, is easily fake, so you can't treat it as conclusive. I can click here for more information on the email. Again, sometimes it will show some stuff, sometimes it won't. Good thing is it always opens in a new window. In this case, it didn't bring us anywhere, but to download Email Tracker Pro again. The route map. It tells you, of course, it will give you a solid line uh, from hops to hops that it knew, dotted lines for ones that it had to guess at. And of course, we can click on some information to where it will take us down to every single hop. Gives you authoritative locations in bold, and non-authoritative are just regular ones. Registration ones, or, or just regular ones. And any other information for further owner details. Again, IP addresses, where it originated from, and people that have been linked to that. So, of course, now that I have that IP address, I mean, there's some you know, fairly interesting things I can do with that IP address. Of course, first off, you can just click it to see if you can connect to it, which you shouldn't be able to, but it's always worth a click to see. I'm going to go ahead and copy that while I'm at it. So you can trace the headers and you can also trace an address. So let's look up a network responsible for an email address. So you can put in a, a, an email address inside of there. So what was that one? Let's see if it will let me scroll up. Back to my email summary. And let's see if I can get some more information here. S dot club. This will do a trace just with that email address. Again, it's already located in Denmark. IP address is a little bit different. And it will, uh, of course, I don't have a SMTP server running on here or anything, but so some things aren't going to come back complete. But there we go. MXcluster1.1.com inside of Denmark. So that's their MX machine. So this is probably just nothing more than a spam box. Yeah, the other scan that we did told us it was a it was a web server. This one is pointing us to an MX record that I just hit back, which is where the email bounced from, and that is the IP address from it. So now I can do my standard you know, who is lookups or my netcraft lookups, find some information on that machine. If I wanted to kind of turn the tides, of course, I can do um, 
tons of things I can do there to DNS servers or uh, to their web servers uh, because I do have a an IP that I can truly hit um, since it is out in the open so you can glean some pretty interesting uh, information just by using this program uh, again if you're on a machine where you do have uh, where you do have things set up uh, you know you can find some pretty interesting stuff inside of there and that's the email header itself so of course we can trace our headers we can trace our addresses and we can uh, you know, these reports will always fall under um, your traced reports yeah, they'll always be there so again here we go when I went back to just my traced reports just gives you a nice little overview of the trace down here at the bottom and look what it will pull now it won't pull this all the time but I can even pull a phone number out and exact addresses So it's a great little program to play with for 29 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong on the, on this program. Again, you can set up your own email accounts if you want all of your emails to come through. I, I typically just use it to to scan spam email just because I'm interested in where they're coming from. You will find, or at least I have found, that the majority of my spam email that do make it through comes somewhere from uh, China or the Netherlands. Um, in India uh, so there you go download that program play with it again it's just it's just email tracker pro uh, they had at one time uh, where you could uh, download um, an earlier version um, I think it was a version 8 it was 2000, 2008 uh, and they would give you a free key but I tested that out uh, last night and the key just doesn't work um, but again if you just go to email tracker pro.com it's a free 15-day uh, trial version and then for uh, $29.95 uh, you can actually activate that version so it's uh, it's well worth it on a it's one of the best email tracker programs that, that I've played with. Um, it takes a while for this page to load, especially inside of a virtual, but I think you get the the idea of it. Um, so definitely use that, play around with that. You can you can nail back the addresses uh, of, of where things come from very, very easily. Um, it's kind of interesting to see where they all originate from. All right, so again, uh, there it is. There's the email tracker. We can buy it for 29 or you can download your, your free 15-day uh, trial for, for it. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Those two little buttons will pop down there at the bottom. And uh, I do have a couple more that, that I hope to work on tonight. Um, one of them being setting up um, uh, DVWA. Uh, so we can start doing some SQL injections on uh, testing for data validation and sanitation and uh, seeing if we can pull database records out of a web server. Uh, so I hope to be working on those. I'll do one on how to set up DVWA and then the rest of them on how to bust into DVWA. All right, but until then, hope you enjoyed this one download the software, play with it, some really cool stuff. And uh, until next time, you guys have a good day.